Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, now I, I pray, like I said, I, I, what's in my heart is how to help you and encourage you walk in faith with God. Praise God. So let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you today. Thank you for the life that you have given to us. It is rich. Especially giving us your spirit, Lord. The work of the Holy Spirit in us is amazing. And we acknowledge it, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. He's made our life so beautiful that we are never stranded in any situation. Father, we give you praise. Today, you will bring your truth fresh in our hearts. And it will make sense in our minds. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now, we, we, we are looking at the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. He says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, I've been trying to explain to you what it means to believe that God is. Now, yesterday, I was giving you an example. You know, and I give an example of those who, the, the disciples trying to cast out that demon. When they couldn't, Jesus said it was because of their unbelief. Now, you need to work on your belief first. There are certain things that affect or influences your belief. If you don't put yourself in the right environment to hear, and I was talking to you on, on Monday about facts. If you don't put yourself in an environment to get the right facts of that particular situation, it will affect your belief. But when you spend your time on truth, now truth will produce the right facts. See? Because sometimes you know the truth in your heart, but you can't explain it. Why can't you explain it? Because there are no available facts to anchor your truth on. You've not gotten testimonies yet. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So you know the truth in your heart. Now it's good for you. But you're trying to encourage someone else. Now this is why we have testimonies. Now someone comes to you and says, look, what's the matter? Ah, uh, I don't know. My, my, I, 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 I've got this bill to pay. I've looked everywhere. There's nothing I can do. And they are coming tomorrow for me. They are coming to arrest me. They are coming to take my house. They are coming to, you know, whatever it is. I don't know what to do. And then the person said, look, you know what? Why don't you trust God? I'm trusting God now. I'm, I've been trusting God all my life. Okay. And then he said, you know what? Do you know this particular situation you're in? I was in this situation three months ago. I didn't know what to do. And then suddenly, the day, in fact, the day they were coming, they had called me that they were coming to throw my things out. While I was waiting, I didn't even know how to beg or something. Someone just came to my house. An old friend, he just came to my house and, and, and he saw me in the moon. I'm like, what's the matter? I said, man, this is what, he brought out his check and he wrote out the check for that bill. And so I said, really? I'm telling you, that's how that bill was paid for. Till today, I still wonder what brought him to my house at that time. I said, man, that must be God. Though. Yes. In fact, yesterday, someone shared another testimony with me like this. This kind of situation. Now you begin to tell the person all these testimonies and all this testimony. What do you think is going to happen to the person? You say, man, look, I better believe God then. I better believe God then. I better believe God then. Now, you see, now, when that happens, now the person is, has put himself in that environment, the right environment. Now, when you believe like that, you, you, you begin to pray. <laughs> like you, you begin to pray. You know, have you ever experienced this? You know, you, you are in a particular situation and, and someone comes to you and just sharing, sharing testimonies and te you just say, but man, I think it's enough. I want to pray right now. I feel like praying right now. And then you just go aside and maybe you're pacing the wall and you're just speaking in other tongues and praying and praying and praying. Now, what are you doing at that point? You are activating faith. Because you have believed. Now you know there is no other place to go to but God. 
And then now you have received information and facts that, hey, God is able. Now, not just something in my mind wondering. No, this is not wondering anymore. These are evidence that have been put forth before you. These are facts that have been put forth before you. And you know they are true because you believe the person that was talking to you about it. However you got, or maybe you, you pick your Bible and for some reason you're flipping through the Bible and you're, you're, you just landed on one story. And then you read that story and for some reason everything in you is connecting that story with your situation. And you think, man, why, why did I read this now? Why did I read this now? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to trust God for this thing. Believe. So now you begin to pray and say, Lord, you know what? I will not doubt you. I believe in you. I know you can take care of it. After all, you see, words will begin to come to you at that moment. After all, David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Oh, Paul says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. You begin to declare those words. Now, suddenly, now, now, now watch this, watch this. Why are you declaring those words? Suddenly, I see, and you must be careful. As you're declaring those words, you are declaring them in him. Now, I bet you something is going to happen when you are doing that. The word of God is going to come to you. Now, when the word of God comes to you, now what do I mean the word of God comes? You are praying and declaring, and, and suddenly you hear, relax on, I have gone ahead of you. You see, it can come in prophecy. You're praying, your father in the name of the Lord Jesus, I bless you. Thank you for that testimony that I had. Oh Lord, thank you for doing it. Now that's how you pray in such a situation. Thank you for doing it for so and so person. Thank you for the, oh Lord, that testimony I just had today. Awesome testimony. It tells me or reminds me how great you are. You are a great God. Whoa, oh, how could I have ever doubted you in the first place? How could I have been looking at man to help me? When you are there, you said you will never leave me. You said you will never forsake me. Thank you, Lord. Now, you, you may be praying like this. And then suddenly you hear yourself say, and so it shall be unto you. And you call your name. <laughs> For I have said I will not leave. You know when these things are happening. If, you, if you've ever experienced what I'm telling you. You're praying. And suddenly there's a spirit of prophecy rest upon you. And you begin to prophesy. And you say fear not. I have taken care of that debt. I have taken care of that situation. Now when you hear that what has happened. Faith has come. Remember what the Bible says in, in Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing. And hearing what? The word of God. There is no faith until the word of God comes to you. Now this is where a lot of people miss it. You stay in the realm of believing. Yes, it's good. But believing is supposed to do something to you. Believing is supposed to make you approach the Lord. Now, that's where he said, he that comes to God must believe that he is that's believing now. Secondly, God rewards those who diligently seek him. Now, you, what does he reward them with? He rewards them with faith. Are you getting what I'm sharing? So I, I, I believe that God can solve this issue. I believe that God can save my marriage. I believe that God can, can help me in school. I believe that God can help my business. What are my facts? Why do I believe? I don't know. Then expose yourself to such environment. Expose yourself to people who've got testimonies. Expose yourself to books that you, you get the right information. Thank God for the internet these days. You can just type testimonies about uh, jobs or about business or the miracle. Just find information, brothers and sisters. And, and start dwelling, start looking at those, whatever you need. You need finances. Find out miracles about finances. Find it out. You see, let me tell you this. God is not a respecter of persons. As long as he has done it before. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Get ready for him to do it again. 
And now listen to this. If you can find two places that God has done something, the same thing, the same thing. If you can find two examples or two testimonies, you know what that means? The Bible says, for in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word is established. So if you can find two places that God did the same thing, what does that tell you? It is established that this is his character. So I'm going to be the third. Or I'm going to be the fourth or the fifth. You understand what I'm talking about? I'm going to be the next. If you can find two places. Listen, if you find one. Now, if all you can find is one, maybe you read it in the Bible. And then you're asking yourself now, okay, is this true? Is this true? Because you know what? You may become the second witness to establish that word. See? But you see, now, you, you, you sit down and you're asking yourself, Lord, did you just do this for, for, for this particular situation? Or did you do it as a proof of your character? When you find more than one testimony, now, it can be one in the Bible, two from another person. Those are still two testimonies. You understand what I'm saying? It can be two testimonies from two people. Informations that you know they are true. They are not lies. If you can find it, you have your facts with you. Now, <laughs> when, when you're in that kind of environment, and then you, you begin to pray from that point, now, what are you doing? You are seeking the Lord for yourself because you believe in him that he is able to do this. This is not a strange environment for him to walk in. You understand what I'm saying? By this and this testimony, by this and this. Now, testimonies are what I call facts. You understand what I'm saying? Testimonies are now your facts. But because they are based on truth, they will surely walk again. But if your testimonies are based on a lie, then you're in trouble. Oh, yes, you're in trouble. That's why it's important you, you are in the true environment. That's why Jesus said, I am the truth. So whatever testimony you're going to anchor your believing on must be based on truth. So it, the only way it can be based on truth, it should be connected to what Jesus has said or connected to what Jesus has done. So don't go read a testimony of someone who's not connected to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now you will have a problem there because see, Satan, Satan can ride in that environment. But you take that fact, now I call them facts, yeah? And you begin to pray. What are you doing? You are seeking the Lord now. And I know what you're saying to yourself. God is going to bring me out of this situation. He's done it to this person. He's done it to this person. He's going to bring me out of that, this situation. He's going to sort this thing out for me. Lord, I believe you're going to sort this thing out. Whatever it is, your health, whatever it is. Now, what are you doing? You're setting yourself in the environment of faith. How? You are seeking the Lord. And I told you something. It says, when you seek the Lord, He rewards you. How does God reward? He rewards you with faith. Now, what do you mean He rewards you with faith? He sends His word to you. Praise God. The moment He sends His word, now it can come. See, listen, you can just be praying and praying and suddenly your phone is beeping or your phone your phone beeps maybe a text message or a call comes in and then you no, then leave that call barakatala barakabal your routine say look why did i even switch up that phone le kobara and then suddenly you hear pick up the phone ah no ora patakala pick up the phone le koshe kenka pick up no why am i okay now you you just notice that you can't even pray anymore See, because if the Spirit of God is telling you, pick up the phone, when the phone is ringing, he will stop supplying utterance. So you, you just begin to realize that even the prayer now is becoming a struggle. Hey, hey, you know, okay, Lord. Oh, okay, Lord, I'm going to pick up the phone. And then you pick up that phone and you go, oh, oh, wow, okay. Hello. Yeah, how are you doing? I, I don't know. The Spirit of God just ministered to me that I should tell you this. And he begins to prophesy to your life. 
Whoa, thank you. <laughs> Praise God. What's that? God has rewarded you for diligently seeking him. And he rewards you by giving you words. Praise God. So faith now has come. And when faith comes, what do you do? Believe it. Say, thank you, Lord. This is it. You finish that. You know this matter is settled. Now that's you walking in faith. And I tell you something, that problem is as good as done. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Listen, your faith is increasing. And miracles are taking place in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye. <laughs>